Hey everybody, welcome back to Dave's Small Engines. Today I'm doing a video that I'm really, really excited about. Kind of a follow-up video to the temperature test that I did between 50 to 1 and 25 to 1. I'll put the link right here. Today I have in front of me six of the most popular two-stroke oils available to mix with your fuel when running in your small engines. Today's test is six different oils mixed at 50 to 1, 20 milliliters of oil, in 1,000 milliliters or one liter of 91 octane, no ethanol fuel to determine which runs the coolest and therefore the safest in your small equipment. All right, here's an up close. So this is the Amsoil Sabre. This is a really highly talked about oil. Uh, there's claims that you can actually run this up to 100 to one. Um, this is your standard steel premium two-stroke oil the steel fully synthetic, the Husqvarna XP Plus synthetic blend, the Echo Red Armor, and the Echo Power Blend Gold. I have six Pyrex brand new, 1000 milliliter or one liter containers, and a 20 milliliter measuring spoon. This is 91 octane ethanol free fuel. And this is my brand new Milwaukee temperature gauge. So the test equipment today is a BR430 leaf blower. Now the reason I went with the 430 is because it's a true two-stroke engine. The BR550, 600, 700 leaf blowers are actually four strokes with valves that require uh, the mixed fuel, hence the name Formix. I wanted to be as fair as possible and use a two-stroke engine. Now I'm going to remove this cover and put the starter back on so I can take accurate measurements of the exhaust. So once I have the fuel and oil mixed up properly, I'm going to empty the leaf blower, run it dry, fill one liter of mixed fuel into the leaf blower, start the engine, allow it to idle for five minutes. At the five minute mark, I'm going to get a temperature reading from the exhaust. The reason I chose five minutes is because that is uh, way more than enough time to A, bring the exhaust temperature up to a uh, consistent level where the uh, cooling system as well as the oil are doing their job. And I can say for sure that only the desired fuel is what's actually being consumed in the engine. Once I get that temperature reading, I will record it and then I will apply full throttle, locked full throttle on this blower for three minutes. Again, I believe that's enough time for it to get up to operating temperature. And then take a measurement of the exhaust at that time. I'm going to set a block up behind the leaf blower so that I can position the infrared temperature gun in the exact same position every time for consistency purposes. All right, so using fancy little turkey baster there, every one of these is now at the 1000 milliliter level. So one liter. And now to mix the oil using this 20 milliliter measuring spoon. That will give us 50 to one as recommended by steel for that specific leaf blower. All right, so let's go ahead and open these up. This is not steel. That's kind of handy to install a little tab there. Steel ultra synthetic. Steel premium. And 
Vamos así. Uh, what do we want to start with? Let's start with the, let's go uh, right to left. Let's start with the Echo Power Blend Gold. So, leaf blower is empty. Got my funnel here. Okay, so one liter Echo Power Blend. Now, to ensure consistency, I'm going to run this at three minutes full throttle. I'm going to turn it off. I'm not going to measure the temperature. And then I am going to allow it to cool for 10 minutes before we start the series of testing to make sure that we're on an even playing field for that 10 minutes between uh, each of the fuels tested. So locked on full throttle. So now I'll wait 10 minutes and then we'll start all the tests. So that's been 10 minutes, right on the dock, right now. So let's do the five minute idle test, take the temperature, continue with the testing. Countdown starts. Two hundred and sixty-five point six. Lock, throttle, all the way on, and now we start the three-minute test. Five thirty nine point four. Okay, that's just ten minutes there. We've got the Echo Red Armor in here now. Let's do the five minute idle test and temperature check. Two sixty point four. Now we'll lock the throttle. Start the timer and do the three minute full throttle test. Five twenty eight point one. Okay. Next up is the Husqvarna 
XP plus. And we'll continue with the cool down. Okay, so that's our 10 minutes of cool down time. Now we have the Husqvarna XP plus. Let's start it up and do the five minute run time and then temperature check at idle. Two sixty four point seven. Now lock full throttle and the three minute test starts. Five seventeen point three. And next is the steel ultra synthetic. Okay, so that's uh, twenty seconds away from being ten minutes for the cool down. We are now on to the steel ultra synthetic oil. So let's start it up five minutes from now, check the temperature. Two fifty three point zero. Both are all locked. Five twenty four point three. So this is the steel premium mix. So not the ultra, but the premium. And we'll let it cool and then see how the steel premium does. Okay, so that's 10 minutes uh, cool down time. Now we have the steel premium. Let's start the five minute idle and then temperature check. Two fifty five point nine. So this is the steel premium full throttle three minute test locked on full throttle. Five 
536.5. And last but certainly not least is the Amsoil Sabre, mixed at 50 to 1. Okay, so that's our 10 minute cool down here. Let's get the Amsoil Sabre going for the five minute idle and then temperature check. Two fifty nine point five. Okay, throttle is locked. Now we do the three minute full throttle and then temperature check test. Five forty point three. Okay, everybody, as you saw there, I lost daylight as the uh, testing concluded, and I wanted to wait till today, uh, the next day, to show you the results where you can actually see them. Let's check it out. Okay, so the I in the FT, so I is the five minute idle test, temperature test, and the FT is the three minute full throttle, and all of these numbers are in Fahrenheit. So, this is all of them here, and let's go through them. So for the idle of the AMSOIL, after five minutes, it was 259.5 degrees, and the full throttle was 540. Uh, that is the highest full throttle temperature that I have recorded here. The steel premium was 255.9 and 536.5. The ultra synthetic was 253.0 and 524.3. And the check mark is the lowest temperature. So the lowest idle temperature was the steel ultra synthetic. The Husqvarna XP was 264.7 at idle and the lowest recorded full throttle temperature of 517.3. The red armor was 260.4 and 528. And the Echo Power Blend Gold was 265.6 and 539.4. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. Uh, that was the longest test that I've ever done. Um, a lot of work, a lot of time, mixing everything, emptying everything, running through the test as you saw, but I think it's pretty cool to be able to put a bunch of results down on the table that are fairly reliable. So what does all of this mean? Well, here are the numbers. Let me know what you think in the comments. I can't wait to hear everybody's opinion on this. Uh, again, everything was mixed at 50 to 1. Other people have different um, preferences for what mixture they use. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I had a lot of fun making this video for you. If you enjoy the content on the channel, I certainly do appreciate um, you becoming a subscriber. I have more tests planned in the future and I hope to see you back soon. Take care.